to now all new at six o'clock. Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Carlos Jimenez will watch the inauguration of Joe Biden in person. And we spoke to both members of Congress yesterday before they left about the, they talked about the security concerns that exist. Tonight, they're in D.C. and they shared with CBS 4's Hank Tester the massive security presence they are seeing firsthand. The Capitol complex is essentially a ghost town. As far they all, you know, all of our or our our staff are on maximum telework because of COVID nineteen to begin with, and then mm -hmm. because of the, the challenges of getting in, you know, even fewer staff are here today. And no ghost town outside the Capitol and the congressional office complexes. Troops, Capitol police, concertina wire, eight foot fences, a security fortress. Members of Congress alerted. Where being given specific precautions. We're being told, you know, how we need to, what we need to look out for, where we are each under a heightened security environment uh, in terms of our movements. The January 6th assault on America's democracy has produced a historical lockdown for this historical inauguration. It's not gonna be easy getting around Washington, D.C. in the next couple of days. Mr. Jimenez goes to Washington. Newly elected Representative Carlos Jimenez just getting settled in his new office, looking forward to the inauguration, inauguration like no other. I don't know how many how many of my colleagues are going to be here, how many other uh, congressmen and women are going to be here and attending. So, um, you know, and where we're going to be, where we're going to be seated. But I, I do know that it's going to be like in pairs and you're going to be six feet apart from everybody else. As the buildup of troops continues surrounding and inside the Capitol, both representatives, Wasserman Schultz and Jimenez, are conducting business, getting set for the legislative grind, which begins in earnest Monday the 25th. I am confident that uh, tomorrow will go off uh, well, that we will show the world that we have a peaceful transition of, of power, and that's the way the, the, the things are done here in America. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons I, uh, I'm up here, too. I want to I want to demonstrate, too, that we're not afraid. Both representatives assured me that despite all the buildup of security, troops in the street, their offices are up and functioning and getting down to the people's business. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.